Peace. This is Nasi Gifted. Welcome you to our blog series where we're going to be coming to you with topics on education, animation, and comic book development. But well, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Nasi Gifted, educator, engineer, writer of an Afrofuturism hit, so hit series called PB Soldier. So I come to you with 19 years of experience in the education field, started off as a substitute teacher, transitioned to become a math teacher, then also became the robotics coach, basketball coach, in math department chair, vice principal over the Pre-Engineering Academy, and now currently the principal of Malcolm X Shabazz High School. Also, I am an entrepreneur, founder of the Kim Comic Fest and Kim Animation Film Festival, where we celebrate black animation, gaming, and comic book creators. But enough about me, let's talk about why we're here. But before we do that, let's, let us know where you're tuning in from, in the comments below. Please write in the comments below where you're tuning in from. Also, if you are an educator or an inspiring educator, please write your reason why you came into education in the comments below. So we're gonna talk about the top five reasons to become a black educator in an urban environment. And it all has to do with one and one thing only, pride. And that's the pride in who you are, where you come from, and what you could do for the community. Reason number one, perseverance. Perseverance, persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieve success. Becoming an educator is a hard job, but one of the most gratifying because of the impact that you have on children's lives. For me, the number of students I help become technology leaders, pursue careers in the STEM fields, that's perseverance. It always seems impossible until it's done. Nelson Mandela. Reason number two, resilience. Resilience, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulty and or toughness. Dealing with systematic racism, death of a family member, navigating the streets, coming to school when your home is not right, all of those things help build character. That's something we need to be intentional about in our young people or our students. I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. That's why Maya Angelou. Also, I cannot control what happens, but I can control how I react to it. That is all a part of resilience. Reason number three, integrity. Doing the right thing, even when no one is watching. Always doing more than ask or expect it because you know deep in your heart, they will be better off because of it. Develop integrity in young people. No one asks LeBron James to open the I Promise School or provide scholarship opportunities for thousands of graduates. That's his integrity and doing what is needed regardless of who's watching. Reason number four, determination. Staying focused on creating and maintaining goals. As an educator, engineer, and comic book creator, nothing came easy. Never stopping, never quitting. Everyone's dream can come true if you stick to it and work hard. Serena Williams. Reason number five, excellence. Modeling excellence for children who may or may not have role models. There is no better adversity. Every defeat, every heartbreak, every loss contains its own seed, its own lesson on how to improve your performance next time. That's Malcolm X. We want to be bigger. We want to develop students to be bigger, better, and sharper than what they were yesterday. That's what excellence is. And that's how we define excellence each and every day for young people. There it is, everybody. The top five reasons to become a black educator in an urban environment. It never was about the money. It was always about pride. And pride stands for perseverance, 
resilience, integrity, determination, and above all, excellence. Now stay tuned for some, some amazing stats concerning black educators. Here's some statistics around black education and why black educators matter. Out of all the students who completed educator preparatory programs who do not choose to pursue employment in the field of education. That's from Towson 2011. Out of all of the individuals who pursue careers in the preparatory education programs, 42% of them are white female, 41% are black female, 27% are white male, and 23% are black males. Out of that 23% who, per, who pursue preparatory programs in college, only 1.81% of those black males we actually become teachers, compared to a 7.39 student population of black males in US public schools. That is the largest disparity by race and gender when compared to the student demographics in US public schools. Here's some other amazing stats from the study. Black boys who had a black teacher during elementary school were less likely to drop out of high school. But it does give the ability to see them in a way that is untarnished by stereotypes, biases, and cultural disconnects, which are few inequities and injustice. That's why shared inequality, being able to see the greatness and potential without the filters of minority or the at fist or urban factor factored in. Also research shows that teachers of color hold high expectations for students of color. Because of that, they become role models. Uh, black students of both sexes, the study says, are more likely to take college entrance exams and actually say that they're going to attend college because they had a black educator in front of them. And then the impact on black boys in general helps disrupt the school to prison pipeline. So if you like this information, if it was useful to you, please hit that like and share button below. Stay tuned for next week when we we coming up with another topic. Please stay tuned each and every Wednesday. I'll thank you. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe today to PB Soldier.